Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to another video. So today we are going to do a paint and water only stacked puddle swipe again. So what I mean by paint and water only is all of these colors you see in front of you, plus the black that I will be covering the canvas with first are only mixed with water. That's it. They are all medium bodied paint brands. Artez, uh, not Artez, I'm sorry. Um, Liquitex, my Artscape, and Pebio are the brands I'm using. And I will tell you those right now. This is Bright Aqua Green from Liquitex. And you can see the consistency there. Okay, then I have, they're all the same consistency. This is Iridescent uh, Blue Green from Pebio. This is Thalo Blue from My Artscape. This is Thalo Green from My Artscape. This is Green Yellow Iridescent from Pebio. And this one here is, uh, I believe, bright green from Liquitex. Or no, I'm sorry, primary green. Okay, so only paint and water is what we have there. Now, today I'm going to do this one a little bit differently than what I did last time. And that is going to be, I want to make not icicles. I'm going to call them, now I know I'm going to get this wrong. In the caves, the crystals that form are called stalactites and stalagmites. Now, <laughs> coming from the roof of the cave, I'm not sure which one it is. Or coming from the ground of the cave, I believe stalagmites are the ones that hang. And stalactites are the ones that grow up out of the ground in the caves. Luray Caverns in Virginia absolute amazing site if anybody is in that area and can travel when we're able to travel again i highly recommend that place i love crystals so i want to make a black cave with these beautiful blue and green crystals hanging down from the ceiling so this is my black paint which is blick uh art materials their brand of black mixed with only water Okay, so I'm going to flood the entire canvas. Now this is a 14 by 18. And you're going to see some magical effects with this swipe. And I'm going to tell you just how to get them when we get there. Okay, so I don't want to confuse anybody. So we're going to take this one step at a time. I apologize for the ring light. I'm probably going to have to shut that off. I didn't even think about the fact that I'm filming on black today. So as soon as I get this covered here, we will get rid of that ring light. Now I may get a little bit darker, but I will show you the close up in full color, full brightness, I mean. So I'm just tilting around the paint until I'm all covered here. Well, the canvas is covered, not me. Hopefully not me. But it wouldn't be the first time. It won't be the last, believe me. Okay? Easy peasy, just like that. All done. Now I take off my gloves because I will not leave, need my gloves again. From this point forward, I'm going to be swiping with a piece of paper. And let me see how bad that glare. Oh, it's not that bad, but, you know... Let's see if we can get rid of it a little bit here. It's like very zen. <laughs> I should light a candle and put it by the canvas. Okay, so what do I use to swipe? I save stuff like this for my canvases. Um, you can use plastic. You can use a wet paper towel. You can use quite a few things. But for me, I just use the paper, 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 <laughs> paper from 
the packaging that my canvases come in. So what you want to do is just cut a few different sizes. You don't want all the same width for your crystals. I'm just going to call them crystals because I'm not sure if it's a stalactite or a stalagmite. All right, so you can cut them into different shapes. You could also, if you want, snip off the ends on each corner, something like this, and try to make some weird designs. But I'm going to go with just a straight edge today, okay? Oh, there goes a hair fine. I'm telling you, I am a mess and a half today. So, first thing we got to do is put down our colors, right? And we are doing a stacked puddle swipe. So, I'm going to start with, this is Thalo Blue, and right at the tippity top, as close as I can get to the edge without going over it, in the center, I'm going to put down... A little bit of blue. And you know what? If it goes over the edge, it's fine. You can add more if you need to. So that's the phthalo blue. This is the blue green from Pebio. And you'll notice I'm overlapping them. So I'm stacking them, but I'm kind of overlapping the colors. And then the next one will be the bright aqua green from Liquitex. Okay, just like that. You don't need much. And you can always add more after if you want to. So now here's the Thalo Green from my Artscape. Okay. The Green Yellow from Pebio. And then the primary green from Liquitex. And then I'm just going to repeat until the whole upper part of the canvas is full of paint. And then once I get done with this side here, I will do the opposite side. So I, I started with blue here first, so then I will do green. Okay, so I'm going to put down my colors and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my colors all down. I'm going to torch everything really quick. Torching is very important. You got to pop those air bubbles, especially when you're working with just paint and water as your mixture. Okay, so you'll get a lot of bubbles. So we did that. Now everything I've used so far is just paint and water. I reiterate that because I always get a question, what were your paints mixed with? So paint and water only. Now here comes the trick. We want some special effects. We want some cells and we want to control where the cells go. We don't want them all over our painting or popping out where we don't want them. So this is how you do it. You take some black paint. This is Golden's. I'm going to show you it right now. Carbon Black, okay, by Golden. You don't want the fluid one. You want either a medium or a heavy body. And American Floetrol. Right here. Here's my Floetrol, okay? I put a tablespoon of that paint in here. No, I'm sorry. I put two tablespoons of that paint in here and six tablespoons of Floetrol. No water, just paint and Floetrol. And because this is the only color with the Floetrol in it, when we put it down, we're going to get some beautiful cells right where we swipe only. So, I'm going to start in a random spot. I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to put down a little bit of my black. Enough 
just to go down that one area about the width of the piece of paper that I'm using, okay? And I'm gonna pull down, I'm gonna put the paper into the paint, pull down the canvas, and then eventually when I get to the length that I want my crystal to be, I'm gonna lift up on one corner of the paper. You see that? And now we have a cool looking crystal coming down. All right, so now we're gonna do another one. Now that was kind of a sharp edge there, but that's okay, because I'm gonna swipe over it. To try to build some depth, I'm gonna make my smaller ones first, and then I'm gonna swipe some bigger ones in there. So that it looks like these smaller ones are behind the bigger ones. So now, what I'll do is I'll put some, let's see, right here, just a little bit. Take my swiping paper into the paint, pull down nice and slow, lift up on one corner, beautiful, okay? So now I'm just gonna continue doing that Do one right here. Okay. See beautiful little cells developing. This is going to be really cool when it's done. Just take your time, relax and have some fun. If you fail, try again. Now that one I went a little too low with. I really needed to start up closer to the edge of the canvas. All right. So now I'm going to get a bigger size paper here. I didn't quite get over. This little one here, I'll have to go back and swipe over that. Put some here. Probably need a little bit of a wider paper. And I did it again. I'm afraid to go over the edge. It almost looks electric, to be honest. Love it, love it, love it. You gotta be kind of quick because it will go over the edge on you. Uh, see, and now I didn't put enough. Oh, hold on. Time to switch. Switch edges here. That's a funky looking one. That is funky. Sorry, we like funky here. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple more. 
And I'm just going to look at it from your view for a second. Not too bad. Not too bad. Right, so just going to continue onward here. So we have to do something right here in this area. Uh, let's see. Let's get our smaller piece back. Now you see how it looks like that one's going over the one that I did over here in the corner. That's what I'm looking for. Bigger one out. All right. I'm going to go right over here. That one's taking a little bit longer to activate. I might have to add some color there. Okay. And, you know, if you want to go a step further with this, you could also put some, uh, let this dry and put a layer of resin over it and do a little design on top of it. I'm just going to add a little bit of blue here to try to bring this area back to life. It's kind of blah. There we go. And then we'll do one more right here. I'm gonna go a little bit of a different size. So I'm just cutting my paper to be a little bit thicker or thinner than it was. Put some black right in here. Maybe spread it out a little bit. All right. And then we'll do a thin, thin one here. And then one more here.
All right. One last thing you can do if you want, you can take a skewer and these areas in between your swipes, if you want, you don't have to, you can leave it just how it is. You can take the paint and kind of pull it down to give it a little bit of design in those areas. Wipe off in between each hold down. But it's something different to do with your swiping, okay? Instead of doing it in the center, be creative. It doesn't have to be the same old, same old to be, to be, I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know, do a swipe and make it unique. Don't do what everybody else does. You know, do, uh, that goes for all of the techniques out there. You don't have to do what you see me do. You could do your own little twist on it is what I'm trying to say. And then I'm going to go in here. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, and you can even elongate your points if you want to with the skewer, like pull them down a little bit. But I'm happy with what I have here, so I'm going to leave well enough alone, I think. Except for right here. Okay. Well, let me give you a close up. Okay, here we go. Now I didn't use gold. That's the gold in the green gold that you're seeing, believe it or not. You see the points there? Now, see that little bit of splatter? Just, you know, put your finger in there and get rid of it or a popsicle stick. So anyway, my friends, I would love to thank you for watching tonight or today, whenever you're watching me. And um, all the links are in the description for all the products and... Uh, the resin I use to coat my paintings. I will show you this one. It's dry along with the rainbow one that's drying beautifully once I put a coat of resin on it. And uh, don't forget, I have a Facebook group, United We Pour, with Tammy and Lisa. I run that with Lisa Wyatt Art. It's a great place to share your art and make new friends. Um, yeah, so the links for all that are in the, district, in the description box below. And if you like the video, please click the like button. And if you haven't already, would you please subscribe to my channel? I would truly appreciate it. I guess that will be it for today. So that would be, what, a stalagmite? <laughs> Let me show you my stalactite, if that's even what it is. There you go. That's my view. <laughs> so, oh, by the way, before I go really quick, resin is coming soon. Everybody keeps asking me. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I started off as a resin channel, and I did a lot of fun things. And that is coming, too, very soon. I'm just waiting for it to warm up a little bit more. It was 70 last week, and two days ago we had snow. So we're warming up, and I'm going to be doing some resin along with the acrylic pouring too, okay? 
I have not forgot. So that's it today, my friends. Until next time, happy pouring.